How's it going, everybody? Arthur Ray is here with Winners and Winers for Wednesday, September 7th, 2022. And we are going to be talking about the Cincinnati Reds going to Wrigley Field to take on the Chicago Whites, or I'm sorry, the Chicago Cubs. But before we get into that, I want to talk to you guys quickly about a promo we are running over at the website. As you can get 25% off of my premium picks. That's including NFL that's around the corner. That's including college football that's just starting off. That's going to include basketball when that comes back in a month. That's including baseball just like we're talking about today. And you could also do a mixture of them. You're going to go to the description of this video right here. Click on my profile. You're going to see what I've been doing. You're also going to get a bunch of packages that you are going to choose from. At checkout, you are going to use the promo code VMX50AR for 25% off. I am personally betting these picks as well, so it's not just like I'm just telling you this just to throw something out there. I'm going to make money with you guys, and let's try to build a little community out of this. So we're going to be talking about the Cincinnati Reds and the Chicago Cubs, an NL Central matchup. We're going to have the rookie, Javier Assad, I believe is how you pronounce his name, for the Cubs at home, going up against Mike Miner, a veteran for the Cincinnati Reds. This is Assad's fourth career MLB game. So with rookies, I tend to be a little hesitant. He has faced some pretty good lineups. He faced St. Louis twice and Toronto. But I'm still not buying into the fact that he is going to shut the door down. Uh, he's basically a relative unknown at this point to me. Mike Miner in his career, who most of his numbers have not happened in a while as he pitched in the NL for a while in the earlier stages of his career. But he is 6-1 and one against the Cubs. Now, let's talk about the offenses in this game. Because that's where I think the major of this, the major split of these teams are going to happen. In the last couple of weeks. So the Reds are scoring 4.31 runs per game in their last 13 games. While the Cubs are a little bit behind. They are 3.14 runs per game in their previous 14 games. So there's about a run difference there. And then BABIP, for those unfamiliar, batting average and balls in play. It's a pretty important number. I don't love it, but it still has its purpose. Uh, so if a batter makes contact, how often is that resulting in a hit? Chicago is 14th in the majors with a 294 team BABIP, while Cincinnati is in the top 10 with a 298 team BABIP. Now you're saying four points, that's not a big difference. Both of these teams have over 5,000 plate appearances. So that's resulting in a big number of hits going on between these two teams that are splitting the difference. So that is a pretty significant uh, percentage point. So the Cubs are not a good offensive team. Their bullpens are about the same. And Cincinnati has a veteran pitcher compared to a rookie. All in all, I'm going to say go with the Cincinnati Reds plus one and a half on the run line on the road against a rival. These teams have played 10 games as of this recording, and there's been nine runs separating them in their head-to-head -head games. So these games are going to be close. I really like Cincinnati having the veteran leadership and going to cover the run line. But that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you guys have not already. Tell me what you guys are thinking in the comment section below about this pick and also what other picks you guys are doing. As I frequent the comment section a bit and I just like to see what everybody's talking about. Make sure to go over to winnersandwinners.com, check out the website. There's something there for you, so make sure to go check it out. Use the promo code VMX50AR at checkout for 25% off of any premium package, and I will see you guys in the next one.